pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of their excitement and expectation. The De Coyp, this vast arena with a capacity of well over 50,000, its name actually means the tub for so long, one of the central hubs of the Dutch game. Well, that was impressive. Match that. Two high-profile, high-calibre teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Yes, Peter, it's a shame it's only a, a friendly, but then again, that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest. And I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favour of, of lots of flair, skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals. I suspect I've probably overstretched my, my level of greed here. So it's away we go then. So Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, the goalkeeper, Wojciech Szczesny, Peter. He's got incredible reflexes and that makes him one of the best shot stoppers around. He's also very comfortable when... And a header! Camille Glick. Glick goes looking. It's a long ball, but it's not hit its target. Griezmann. Pogba. tested the keeper Pogba really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then but how wrong he was run Dembele's cross gets up to head it goal France and France are in front an absolute gem of a cross it made the header simple well as contact goes that was tremendous and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net I think when it comes to the area of the park this fella is definitely no slouch
France. Break the deadlock. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Krasitsky. Havar. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Conte plays it out to the flank. It's a loose ball. Now the cross. They didn't manage to get nearly enough into the box, and that speaks of little ambition. Foul, simple decision for the referee. And it's Griezmann. Tries a shot! Well, that is rather wayward. It was more possible than probable, and the outcome backed it up, Peter. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. And there is the half-time whistle. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. That gets things going for the second half. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Danger averted for now. Needed a better pass there. And it's played forward. Krikoviak. Griezmann. Dembele. And here's Giroud. Dembele. Dembele! He has done it! Two up now, and they are cruising. that needed composure, and he had plenty of it. Oh, that's just clever. He made the keeper think he was going one way, only to help Fox and by going the other. Very nice. Things starting to look very comfortable. 
We're looking at a very different game now. The command has been established. Just brushed off the ball there. He spotted the run and played him through. What a ball, this goes for goal! And more, and more, and more! And the lead is extended still further. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Another side really getting hold of the ball. Griezmann. It's got through to him. He's managed to get himself offside. Mbappe. A buccaneering run from the defender. There are a few waiting massively. It's in. Surely now they are well and truly out of sight. France are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Time for a change in personnel. Well, to wait until now to make this change seems a bit baffling. He's expecting the miraculous to turn this around from here. France tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. He's on the move, and he's going to have to go it alone. Giroud, going for goal, he scores! This is as ruthless as it gets. Listen, when you're on an invitation to improve your goal difference, why he's off? He's made it three, quite a day at the office for him. Well, he's been the outstanding player on the pitch and devastating in front of the goal. What a display, what a player. Things looking so easy, almost too easy here. Well, unsurprising. Added time is up, 
And there goes the whistle. France yeah. irresistible here. Dominant, utterly ruthless. Only ever one result. A comfortable win. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Look, we saw some textbook football from Wayne areas that continued to produce expansive attacking play that was ultimately too hard to handle.